What it do, YouTube? It's your boy KP back with another video, reaction video to say the least. We got the problem with TikTok music. This is interesting to me because I feel like all these TikTok songs that be blowing up, like I be scrolling, I'll be like, oh, this song's fire, and I look it up, and then it's trash. So I'm like, I'm being deceived. You give me a nice little hook from your song, and then I go to the full song, and it's trash. <laughs> make it make sense. So this is the problem with TikTok music. I'm assuming he's going to get into that. But um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Join the crew. Um, follow the Twitch. The link is in my description. Follow the Twitch. The link in my description. Why do I say that? Because I do live reactions on Twitch. I keep it 100. No, this is raw footage. Raw reactions. This is uncut. This is not edited. This is real deal holy field. So follow the Twitch in the description, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right into it. TikTok music. It almost seems like now that every song that goes super viral on TikTok is now corny as hell. And it's considered corny NPC music, which in all fairness, I'm going to have to agree because it's just so it's overplayed due like to TikTok. One. TikTok basically runs the entire music industry at this point. And there's a huge problem with all these artists blowing up through TikTok True. or if a song or theirs goes viral on TikTok. And we'll start with number one. People will only know a little bit of your song, literally like 20 seconds of it. They'll only know the most famous part of the song and then that's it and it's because of tiktok because our attention span has decreased we can't even watch a, an hour video no more bro like it's it's actually bad it's actually bad bro but again tiktok has changed so many lives so i can't even sit here and bash tiktok for it because bro i'm here where i'm at because of tiktok these streamers that y'all see right now they're there because of tiktok these artists, they're here because of TikTok. Like, man, I'm blessed. I can't even, I can't even, I'm gonna just sit back and watch this though. It's only one song that they know, your most viral song. So guess what? When they're actually- in See everybody, she's showing her walking. panties. She's shaking like jelly. Honey, Ben and Chanel. And I walk in a, in a deli. The person perform. Everyone at the crowd literally just malfunctions. It's like they shut off once the verse comes on. Their brain is only programmed to know that 20 second snippet of the song. Yeah. yeah, sure, it gets a lot of eyes on your music, but it gets you a shit ton of fake fans too. Just because they bump your most viral NPC song, they think they're your biggest fan now. And most people don't really go out of their way and listen to the full song. And the rest of their discography, Dang. forget it. They don't even know it. Like at that point, you shouldn't even be calling yourself a fan. Look at any Ice Spice concert footage of her singing munch or rich amiri singing one call or that one steve no way look how many people showed up to that concert chat rich amiri sing bruh it's like a graduation party bro look at this or graduation ceremony this is that stuff singing one call or that one steve nah, but ice spice is actually like yeah, she's, she's global now because all the features and all that. But these regular artists, they probably not getting these features. And it's like, yo, they're cooked. Lacey clip number two. If your song becomes an NPC or considered NPC music, it's over. Now, what is classified as NPC music? You may Adobe. Here are a few examples, and these are overplayed to death. Basically, the most generic radio mainstream hit ever. It's like that cookie cutter song you hear on the radio 24/7, or you'll hear on TikTok 24/7. Unlike the radio, TikTok will even more shove shit down your throat if a sound True. is going viral, especially back in like the True. old town road days like you literally could not escape that Lil Nas X song started getting buzz on TikTok then it became an NPC TikTok sound then it hit the radio then it started playing in your local supermarket so that was a crazy era when that he was is blowing up and when he was blowing up at the time oh that's the old town road guy but Lil Nas X saved his career and got more hits so he wasn't just the old town road guy but other people aren't as lucky take the artist Tones and I for example now I didn't even Who know the hell name, is this Take the artist Tones and I. Who is Tones Zilda? I, for example. Now, I didn't even know her name when I made this video. I had to look up the song Dance Monkey to figure out Dance her name. Monkey. Which just goes to show it is so difficult. 
to maintain that growth because basically everybody has heard the song before and if you haven't like seriously w where have you been did you just like I have in or some shit but yeah anyways that song is now cooked but it will even do that to existing artists take the song carnival it blew up this year on tiktok it was the anthem for that one tiktok riz party meme that went viral got like a hundred million views and a song that i thought was actually pretty good it just feels so overplayed now like it feels overplayed times 10 maybe times 100 because i just heard it all day on tiktok and then i nice. hear the shitty clean version on the radio there's just so many examples of a song just being overplayed and the hype for it just getting killed especially if the song has some sort of dance trend to it which is number hey i'm a dancer what you talking about what you trying to say what you trying to say bro hey you want you got a problem ducky we can get right ducky what you talking about Three, if your song gets turned into a trend, you could literally say goodbye to that song. You're never gonna want to deal with that shit again. You're gonna wish that shit never blew up unless it retires you for life. Like, trendy songs in general just don't age well, ever. Because it just becomes associated with said trend or the dance, like that one Lil B song, where it became known for that one devious lick thing that happened on TikTok. And I'd have to argue that these- I don't remember that, to be honest, chat. I don't, I don't remember any of these trends. He's not playing any of the songs which I get because copyright, but I don't even know who this is. Specific scenarios, the song ages the worst. It just becomes a corny ass song within the matter of months. Maybe in the matter of like a few weeks. Because when's the last time you turned on Swag Like Ohio by Lil B? Or Money So Big or Munch? People are already over these songs within like a few months. They just move on to the next one. Shit's absolutely cooked. Like I mean, isn't that with every song, though? After a certain period of time, everybody moves on to the next song. That's with every music. Every music art. Like, I, I, that's my opinion, though. I don't think we're playing a song, the same song, every day for a year, bro. Let's, let's, let's be realistic here. Like, nobody's ever just going to play the same song for a year, bro. Let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a stack, bro. We're getting over it in a month or two. Yeah, we are. But it just puts a stain on their career, especially if they're new and they don't really have a catalog. They're just going to be known as like NPC TikTok music or that one trend that they did. TikTok literally just makes your song worse. Literally just give it 10 million uses, 10 million videos of it. And then you wake up the next day, 24 hours later, boom, your song is ruined. People will use it for everything and everything. They'll slow it down. They'll speed it up. They'll make your voice sound like you're from Alvin and Chipmunks. They'll do That's everything. True. They'll put it behind brain rot memes. Which, speaking of, is my next point. Music has always <laughs> been a big thing in meme culture, and I've found so many songs through this. It could also help or hurt the song at the same time. Like, if the meme is super unfunny, like, that shit's about to assassinate the damn song. I want you to sit down and think of any unfunny meme. Any one that pop up in your head. Do you like the song? Probably not. And one thing that has absolutely ruined this artist for me is the meme surrounding the baby. I was a the baby. Nah, the baby was hard. I ain't gonna lie. The baby bit. No, the baby came out before TikTok, I think. Merchant back in like 2019. And then this meme came out in 2020 and it was over. It was just so unfunny that it just <laughs> ruined. Hey, that's kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. That's a big head, gang. That's a big head. The entire the baby catalog for me. And it's been a solid five years since I've ever touched a the baby song. It just became so. I feel like that's you, bro, personally, bro. Dude, I feel like that's just you hating, gang. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like there's a lot of people that I hear them. I'm not going to lie to you. 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 Corny to the point where I don't even want to associate with it anymore. Even artists. And don't even get me started in the year 2024 and the brain rot music. Or songs being used for brain rot. You could say goodbye to Cotton Eye Joe. That shit's cooked. That shit is... Now, yeah, as far as brain rot music, that's, that's a real thing. Facts. That's a real thing. Like, there's just music with a good beat and a, a good line, and that's it. Like, that's literally it. That's all it takes for, for, for kids to get attracted to a music. Literally, chat. Forever gonna be stained by the stupid-ass chicken nugget. Reason number five being TikTok. You can't really build a loyal fan base on TikTok, if we're being honest. It's a very hard thing to do, to build a loyal fan base from, like, really short videos. And if you pulled it off and you're watching this video right now, good shit, because that shit is so difficult. You have to be, like, the top 0.1% of creative, funny, and entertaining to even get people to binge your video. So, of course, it's gonna relate back to music. It's gonna be harder to build a loyal fan base if 
you go up like super fast. No one really is a profile for your music yet. Plus, it doesn't help that everyone's attention span is absolutely cooked. And people don't really invest their time into listening to other people's discographies when it's just the one song's just put in front of their face all the time. It's like... Lil Boof. <laughs> Yo, Lil Boof, Lil Baby, Lil Wayne, Lil Peep, Lil Pump, Lil This, Lil That, bro. What about Big Something? A light, fruity, non-alcoholic brew that pours... They don't even have their own... It's always Little Something. ...music taste. They just listen to whatever's popular. Re yeah, Massive. Uh, I, I just... I, in the beginning of the stream, I said I can't yell. So, it's just gonna start... The video starts massive when, you, when the video gets put on the screen. That's when the video starts. You feel what I'm saying? That's 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 that's, 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 that's what it's gonna be, bro. Cause the neighbors complaining about my 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 uh my tone level. So I gotta I gotta I gotta respect the neighbors. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta respect them. Season six. The reason that TikTok artists aren't really taken serious anymore is there are artists. Chat. Be honest. Do I? Am I loud? Be honest. Am I loud? who are basically desperate for a viral song. They make these like cornball ass skits or cornball ass videos in order to get a viral song to get the Yeah, bad massive. Their numbers up. They don't let the people naturally fuck with the song. They just have this desperate ass promo all over their page. Like no one is going to check out your song if you have this goofy ass promo. Take this artist for example. This dude literally said, I like how 90% of you just scroll past this video. And missed your opportunity to meet the next famous artist. I like how 90% of you just scrolled past this video and missed your chance on meeting a famous artist before they're famous. But that's cool. But that's cool. Cool. Uh, are we serious? You're basically just holding people at gunpoint. Hey, like my music, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna fucking like it, piece of sh Anyways, go no, literally. A new song. Dude, I hate when people do this, bro. Chat, have y'all ever seen... Join my life if you see this on my head. Like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? Like, go to bed. On all plats. Really, Lil Bro? Are we serious? Are people, are people are probably in the comments like, I'm an OG, guys. I was listening at 10K monthly. I was here before you blew up, man. Before all those mainstream bots got to you, I was here. Yeah, this this type of promo is just super corny. You know the exact type I'm talking about. And then there's also people who'll just make this goofy-ass skit of someone pretending to recognize them from their song. Basically just sucking their own dick. Yo! <laughs> Nick, no way you did that, Nick. Nick, Nick. Basically just sucking their own dick at that point. Like, yo, is that you that made this, bro? Yeah, bro, that's me. Like, no one will see that as a genuine come up. So, like, are they really going to stream you after, like, a month? That Unless you're just that good. But most of the people that do these shitty promos make straight booty music, bro. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not going to hold you. That shit's trash. Some people literally do it. They'll make a dance to their songs themselves. They'll do, say, guys. I wonder if he's going to put e Eon, Eon, Ian. I wonder if he's gonna put him in here. I'm starting this trend right here. And they'll do some goofy ass dance. There's some people on TikTok that are good at promoting their music, but others not. Oh my god! There's no way. No, there's just no way. Dude, I literally said it seconds before he put it on the screen. This guy I blew up on TikTok chat, I'm not gonna lie, his beats are hard so much but either way you still get seen as a tiktok artist so it's a lose-lose situation because of these people because so many people have gone viral on tiktok there will be people who make songs purposefully for tiktok and then it just leads to tiktok having the worst audios of all time you know the exact songs i'm talking about literally just take any song that's catchy trash it's made for tiktok like goddamn lil boof up and coming rapper can go viral on tiktok wait lil boof is actually a thing i thought he was joking is that actual? Is that an actual person? Lil Boof? I'm about to look him up. Fuck! All he has to do is make some catchy trash. I'm on the come up. 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 I'm on Yo, the come up. facts. Come up. Come up. Yeah, some people make songs purposely Yo. for TikTok only, and that's it. Their that's main a fact. intentions is to run up the sound on TikTok and for everyone to go crazy over the song on there. I don't know. I think it's safe to say that TikTok is ruining music because how do you chart number one and then no one still knows your song? So people just pause the turn up at in 20 seconds because they don't know the rest of the song. They act like they're just going to see some random for the rest of the show. Then if you go too far up the billboards, then it's cons Dude, if your if your song, bro, why are we going on tour? Why are we doing shows? You know what I mean? Like, no. I feel like 
TikTok, bro, most of them are bots. Let's be honest. Let's just keep it a stack, bro. Some of my followers are literal bots. That's it's literally everybody has a bot, bro. Every tick. Like he said, it's hard to build a fan base on TikTok. I feel like YouTube, there's real people on YouTube, bro. You can't fake it. Like, it's real people on YouTube. That's why people do, that's why people upload on YouTube, Twitch. Like, this is real deal stuff, bro. TikTok got a bunch of bots, bro. I ain't really, but it's easy to grow on there. So you take those people, tell them to go to the YouTube, and then you have yourself somewhat of a fan base. Boom. Considered quote NPC music because it gets spammed by TikTok and the radio to the point where everyone just gets annoyed by your songs, which could cause it to age poorly for some people. And then you got the cornballs doing the worst promo possible. Nothing I against like the people that do it, but I mean, it just comes off video. as so desperate. So, yeah, a lot of things have been ruined by TikTok to a certain degree, including slang. And I got a video all about that right here. Go watch it now. Hey, slow poof on the track. Dude, there's no way that's your song, buddy. Or so back. I'm on the come up. I'm on the come up. I'm on the come up. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. like shut up. Hey, uh, I understand this video though. W video though, chat. W video. 